Good afternoon, Friday. You asked for it. And I shall give, because I've really been enjoying streaming Hollow Knight, and that's what life is all about. I'm here looking at Steam. It says I've got 50 hours in this game now. I respect that. And the question is, how is everybody doing? For once, my weird sleep schedule is actually being massively useful. I'm sleeping through the heat during the day and just living at night when it's cooler and it's quite good. <laughs> I'm, I'm having that hardcore siesta meta. I really enjoy streaming Hollow Knight, so we're gonna keep on playing some tonight, because that's how we're gonna win. Not by doing work we hate, but by streaming what we love. Fruit smoothies. I mean, chicken is great. Like, I also had chicken for dinner. I'll always say yes to chicken. I'm very much a chicken preferred kind of guy. I will tell you one thing though, this heat, havoc on my skin! I just realised I'm like a, an old lady <laughs> having a conversation around brunch. This heat, havoc for my skin! Oh no! But it, it's not been so hot for Ollie because I've been sleeping through the heat like a smart boy. Because it's really hard to do any kind of uh, artwork during during heat because the Cintiq gets all slimy. No good. Um, streaming's not so bad, but the streaming heats everything up a bunch because the computer is like, ah! <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Alvin! Alvin! So, today on the Hollow Knight agenda, I think we're gonna do the Coliseum of Fools. I think we're gonna sit down and we're gonna try and beat it. The, the final challenge. That's what I think we're gonna do. I'm down. I don't even have a coffee today. I'm saving my caffeine power. So a decaffeinated Ollie is going to try and beat the God of for the Challenge 3. That's right. Starring this Friday, Friday, Friday. Watch one goblin. Take on the whole kingdom in ritual combat. Right, that's the energy for the stream spent. Now I shall be dour for the rest of it. Yeah, exactly. I'm saving my coffee for um, before the uh, Friday D and D game. It's always a weird one because Friday D and D is really late, but not actually as late as 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 it, as it could be. Um, but I also uh, got a game uh, on Saturday. So, I gotta, like, drink the right amount of caffeine to not stay up late, you know? 
I never let you down. Exactly, because even when I let you down, I don't let you down. There's always more Ollie somewhere. It really is one of these things where I've got a lot of work to do at the moment, but sometimes just chilling, playing Hollow Knight, it's a good way to spend the day knowing it makes you happy, it makes me happy, and that's what matters. Uh, Saturday. Uh, uh, it's not a game of D and D. It should be a game of Warhammer. <laughs> so no, I am not creating more D and D games. If anything, I'm going to be cancelling uh, D and D games. I'm already way too busy. I'm not. I've actually got a pretty good balance right now. But when it comes to having to deal with some deadlines. Das ist verboten. But it's the the issue is right, hanging out with regular human people, Saturday daytime, but Trashman Ollie exists at nighttime. What do you do? I'm not canceling any streams now. I'm just saying if if I were to, it would be less, not more. Cannot do more. Not Castle Getty right now. Fucking. You're like uh, politics news reporters. Someone says something vague and you're like, oh my god. That's how reporters sound. Um, oh my god, you won't believe what he just said. I'm not playing with emotions, I'm stating the fucking fact that's been evident for like a year. <laughs> y'all, y'all making me twisted all, even before the fucking I get to anything hard. I don't make the rules, Slashes. <laughs> Californian girl, living in a California world. Let's go! Alright. What's the plan for Colosseum? Ooh! How many charms do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. Okay. Lifeblood and Hive Charm? Nah. Nah. That's... I, I, I feel like that's the coward's way out and isn't even very applicable to, like, my combat stylies. Um... I don't know, ed Edgy Shadow... That seems... We, we, we want a strat, right? Uh, we did pretty well before, I think, using both Quick Focus and Deep Focus. And then we do have a two-banger, which could be Edgy Shadow. 
We also could just have regular lifeblood heart, but not Joni's blessing. As you said, and shape of un, only one or one or a dime. But I think we're gonna go with the classico. Exactly, Barry. Lifeblood is really good for situations where you're never gonna get a chance to heal. Lifeblood, high blood. But you're gonna get chances to heal in the arena, you just might have to be quick about it, right? There's less chance to heal in this arena challenge than around the others, which is one of the reasons why it's harder. Like, literally, you, you have, like, half of the time it takes to heal, I think. Change rounds, usually. But... Really what it means being conscious about is using some spells instead of healing, instead of having like floating mana basically. Okay. Sorry if I get a little quiet. You know what? I still haven't found the upgraded spells. That's gonna hurt a lot. I have upgraded Desolate Dive, which is good. But I haven't found upgraded uh, Shriek. Which is a big deal. I got got. I got got. I actually might, if we fail, uh, go look for those other spells. I just have no memory of where they are. I know how to des. I know how to upgrade one of them that we don't have yet, but I don't actually know where to get the spell itself. Spells are usually in those, um, snail shaman places. <laughs> I noticed that a bit too late. Oh, fuck me, it's this bit. Grab, grab it up. Hello, assholes. I hate you. That's not so bad. This one is just frustrating. Stay still for like moments, please. I did risk it. I can't see the lines. The matrix. He just donked me. What a donkus. This isn't too bad. I gotta remember you can slash them when they're coming. the music all arena should be played to. <laughs> oh, I, 
I, I, I tilted myself there. Mercilessly. No respect for myself or others. Whoa, Mantis! I didn't see that one. Yikes. Oh, it's a cluster. It's a cluster something. I can't tell you what because this is a family show. But I'm getting clustered. I'm so annoyed you're not damage immune while you're desolate diving. Feels like that should be the case, but maybe that's just wishful thinking. It's such a they come. I love it when they come, but they never come for long. Right? Yikes. You know what hurts? Not having Grub Song. One extra charm slot and be able to put Grub Song on. He's gone. Come on. Come and have a go. If you think you're hard enough. Easy penis. No problemo. Now we died uh, like a, a round or two after this. When we were fighting one of these guys and like two of the other guys. On their own, that guy is not too scary. Fighting both? In this arena? Is hard. He means you can't stay still. See, he did me dirty there. I was dealt dirty. Dirty dealings done to me. Dirty dealings and they're done to me. Ugh. That's right. And stop me! I'm the grub! I'm the grub! Oh no! Look at me go! If you haven't noticed, this challenge is really long. <laughs> Fucking Morlocks. Hate them. Remember this guy? I do. Cheesy.
Oh boy! No floors! The floor is spikes! My power came from the floors. Oh no, not a mantis. That's not good right now. Oh, yikes. No! That was close. That was close. It was going to be one or the other, though. Rob Grubschlong being that impressive? Grubschlong is useful. Give me that bod, bod, bod. I do want to find out where those upgraded spells are. Um, I think I'm going to try another time. I got the Mojus. And maybe I'll definitely not get one of you to check the wiki. <laughs> I like this loadout though, being able to heal two just means we get so much out of it. Oh yeah. Unsaved us. Yeah, and when we ran away from those mantises, it made it valuable. Also, just being able to reposition yourself quite quickly, because you move quicker in shape of Un than base speed. Um, what are you doing, Ollie? What are you doing? Ollie, we're better than this. I was so impressed that I managed to phase through his uh, freaking chakram that I took damage to his chakram. Get out of here, Aspids. Everybody hates you. Including your mother! It's four hits to kill him. Four hits. Easy. I just need to not get hit by their body. But bodies are my weakness. Alright, Ollie, get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. You're playing like ass. For no reason. Like, what was that, Ollie? What was that? Oh, that's a bigger explosion than I thought it was. I am very confused that they respawned me on the other platform. That uh, confuses me a lot there. Don't really know why they did that. That's okay though. Chestnuts. Danger chestnuts. Bouncing around the Christmas tree. How useful it would be if our spells were just a little stronger, huh? Danger chestnuts. Ah! My mojo! Don't you dare at me while I can't look away. 
that's triggering my lizard brain. Wow. Wow! What are you doing, son? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is this? You're better than this! What was that? What was that? Jobbo, Jobbo. I mean, that's a that's a shit post I can get behind. I'm tempted to try something. Just just for curiosity's sake. Alright, Ollie, I would like you not to be the physical embodiment of suck this time. I would appreciate that. Yo. Excuse me. Excuse me, you needle nosed fuck. Get out of here. Nothing personal, kid. I'm playing with him. It's like playing that cat. Whoa, he's still alive. I'm impressed. Nothing. Personal. Boy! Get, get out of here! I will say, I don't know if it's good, but it's definitely giving me energy. Mental energy. The Yeet Cloak power is very useful. What are you, where, why are there two over here? There shouldn't be two. Show me one of you. Yikes! That was just panic, but it did work, I suppose. What the hell they trap those things in those little cages? Death chestnuts. I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what a chestnut is.
Yo, get out of me! <laughs> Hey yo, daddy yo, don't go inside me. You considered not being an idiot, Ollie. I, for one, would appreciate. That's just cheeky. It shot exactly where I dodged. And I blame it. Frickin' die, Aspid! Oh! How did I do that with no difficulty last time, and now this time I can't do that bit? What's up with that, huh? Alright, I'm gonna look where those other spells are, because this is gonna annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> it sent, sent me to a witch website. How to make your personal witch spell. Yeah. Oh! I completely missed an area that I, I remember going, hey, we no gotta remember to go back here, and then we never did. Okay. Time to backtrack. I want those spells. It's just a good idea to get them as well, even though I am. Uh, you know, I just, I just want a little break from losing to the same enemy over and over. Go green, lightning. Oh, you're still here, huh? Oh, you're back. I thought when you left, that was the last uh, I'd see of you. Uh, just uh, your geo, you know, if it was a big stress on me as well. Such a stress amount. I've left the banking game for good. Give me my money. Give me my money! Local hero abuses bankers. I don't even need this money. If I like that. <laughs> oh, I think that's okay. But what is okay is I have a bag of pretzels here. And I earned one. I don't know where I am. Um... We want to get to the Soul Sanctum. Oh. <laughs> These pretzels are so good. They're salty like my spirit.
This isn't where I want to go. Where am I going? This is the bridge. Ah, oh, I'm just a bunch lower than I thought I was. I know no fear. Can't believe I forgot. I remember explicitly going, hey, remember this door? Remember this door? We're gonna go back here. And then I didn't. Good job, me. Idiot. And finding the um, the one spell we never found is also something we need to do. I'm meant to have the key for this. Do I not have the key for this? Excuse me. Excuse me, I'd like to shop. Excuse me. Hmm. You meant to buy this key from Sly. I thought we already bought everything Sly has. Maybe Sly has new stock. Where's this? Oh, I yeah. am. I remember now. We should never go that way. I want to get these powered up spells because we're basically doing like the hardest stuff in the game now. Uh, and while I'm not trying to like be like meta about it um in like order we do things to to get the most power um just knowing that i could should be a little stronger when it comes to these triggers me um <clears throat> Remember to like and subscribe and join the Gobo Brigade. Yum. Sly, you want to use stock for me? Echo bus. <sighs> Where's your storeroom? Mr. Wikipedia. Ah! We have- I was gonna say, Sly- I remember Sly's shop being bigger than this. There's an item that upgrades his shop that we never found. And we- we were where it is. We were just blind. We actually don't want to go down here. I was gonna say, Sly- I, I remember there being more things to buy. And Sly is the shopkeepy. Okay. Well, you know, these this is chores that need to be done. We 
you don't do your chores, you don't get any whores. That's what <laughs> America says. I think it's worked out pretty well so far. So, on that bench, near that area should be this key. And it's not the key we want to go get the upgraded spell, but it's a key we can get to get the thing to get the spell. No wonder I never found it. Let's be around here. There it is. I see it. Uh, we're st our nail is strong enough to beat most things here. Shopkeeper's key. Bam. Then we go back to Dirt Nesty. Let these creatures live in peace. Let's go shopping! We're just gonna be like, Sly, open up your shop. I have money. I'm willing to buy goods. Did I sink it? I sunk it. What a victory. Oh, what, what do you have here? Why, that's the key to my storeroom. Thought I'd lost it for good. Can we find a key in the old mines, perhaps? Very curious. No idea how it ended up in such a remote place. Very honest for you to return it to me. Yes, very kind. Now I can open my stolen store up and I can sell you some of these rare stock that was gathering dust in there. Items might be a little time worn, but they still retain their full market value. Very precious stuff. Take a look. Mask shard. Boom. Get. Mask shard. Boom. Get it. Let's be a little sensible and get the key we need first. This key we need. <clears throat> Heavy blow uh, gives the creatures more knockback, which fair. Um, Sprint master lets you to run faster. Not super useful, but can be useful. This might actually upgrade our uh, soul vessel. Yeah, just a, might be the last one in the game actually. I don't know if you can ever get four, or if three is all you can get. Echo bus. Done. Now we can go back. <laughs> Again. Yeah, even even the great stag is sounding a little uh, frustrated at my back and forth, back and forth. That's just the cost of doing business, baby. Then <laughs> we go back to the Soul Sanctum. We can open that door. Now where the last spell is, but I totally forgot. You know what? I do want the Yeet Cloak on. I'm sorry. 
Uh, boop ba bee ba bo ba. Flubbed it. I like how you just get like a little bit of organ. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> what an idiot of me. What an idiot of me. Forgot you could just go from the side there. Saves a little bit of time, I suppose. But who's, you know, I'm not in the interest of saving time. You're gonna waste all my, your time and my time. This shouldn't be hard. I'm just flubbing it. A little bit of organ. Pick your next to your advice. Examine closely. <laughs> Boom. Basically, just upgraded our launch spell. And there's one spell we just never got. So now I need to find out where that is. And I'm gonna cheat. Because I don't give a shit. Fog Canyon. We never finished exploring Fog Canyon, apparently. Back we go. Ugh. I'm an idiot. Shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world to find. Back on the train, go to Fort Canyon. And oh, no, I know where to upgrade this spell, I just didn't know where to get it. <laughs> we just missed it by, by a little bit. You wanna die, huh? Well, I can make that happen. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm the one killing you here. Oh, you just commit suicide there. Uh. That's okay, I suppose. Sometimes I wonder if it's all worth it. Times like this make me realize it's not. Um, I didn't mean to go to Queen's Gardens, but that might be a sleeper hit. Look at the map. It's, it's there. It's that place called the Overgrown Mound. So this actually is good enough. We just never looked around close enough. And I, and I, I think I even said I'm kind of not being very diligent in my exploration of Fog Canyon because it's kind of like on the way to places. I didn't actually think there was anything in there. I did not look hard enough. Stop, Charlie. This has gone on long enough. The thing is, it's like... Uh, not even hidden.
here it is. We just never went in here. Haven't you learnt your lesson, old man? Come on! Stop it. Get some help. Suck. Now we can go... I don't think that's good enough. I think we need to go back to the abyss. We don't want to go to palace grounds for this. No, we did. We did that. We had to go get a key to get the key to buy the key. Um, we now have upgraded Soul Shriek, whatever it's called. Um, but we can upgrade our Wraith. It's basically every spell in the game gets upgraded once, right? That's the, the idea. Um, then we have all of that. I was basically thinking, you know, the area I keep fucking up, we don't have a lot of room. You're like, oh no, you're above me. Blep. Get out of here. Um, easier than attacking upwards. It's kind of my thought process on the matter. If you like pina coladas and sucking dick in the rain. Please call me. funny that I missed the frickin' um, the wraiths last time, but I did. Hey, yo. Oh, I forgot about this bit. Deep blue blown st blue stone atop a dais. We have to come back. Uh, I don't remember what we get for doing this, but we have to come back. We can do that after this. It means a lot of climb. <gasps> I should have left a door. I keep forgetting I can do that, and this would actually would have been a really good chance to do it. Scream! Dream nail it. Um, yeah, no, that's that's my stupid. Um, but we can do that. I just got to remember the controls for it. In fact, that's probably going to be on here. Dream gate. Hold down while using a dream nail. Throw our dream gate. Use up to go through it.
Please don't. Enough. Well, that'll just save us some travel. Um, realistically, it'd probably be easier to actually set up a dream gate outside and then just fall back down. I think we'll do that so we don't have to climb up because falling down is easier than climbing up. Now that I think about it. You like pina coladas. I'm using dream nails. Now, I think the way to interact with that plinth, because if you saw it was a lifeblood plinth, is... You put on both the lifeblood charms. I think that's what you do. Um... Now be honest, I'm not 100 percent oh. Gives a lot of HP though. I think that's how you interact with it. Because, if you haven't noticed, wearing different charms makes you interact with things differently. Um, we haven't done a lot of that, unless you basically speak languages of characters sometimes. I think that's how you f interact with this thing, and I totally forgot it existed. Yep. Oh, I might not be able to do it because I took damage. It's not enough. I need two more. I need two more. Am I gonna get two more? Well, I suppose if I had an extra... If I had an extra mask, just in general. Um. Is that enough? I should have counted. Is there another lifeblood thing in this area that we could visit real quick? The nearest lifeblood is... It's failed tramway. We're not gonna survive it through deep nest. Oh, no. What else could we do? Is there on a near... There's one near Dirtmouth. We could get it in Dirtmouth and bring it down. As long as we don't rest. Oh yeah, exactly, Barry. That's kind of my thought process. I'm just trying to find the easiest way to do that without taking damage. And Dirtmouth is pretty harmless. And actually, going down the Ancient Basin is pretty harmless, as long as I'm not an idiot. Um, but of course, I am an idiot. I'm going to take advantage of that. I 
And we can't take any damage. It's an enemy, a spike, whatever. They must be eradicated! Alright, we just gotta not take damage. The bug just doesn't give a shit. He's seen too much already. Could I dream gate now? Yeah. I could have. Doesn't really change much though. I should have made a dream gate down there so that we would be guaranteed to go down there with no damage. But I forgot. Because I don't use dream gate often. Dream gate got. I don't know if dream gate got added to the game before or after I played it. It might have been changed. Dream Gate used to cost Dream to take, which meant I didn't want to use it very often. Now we just gotta wait. I'm not gonna eat a pretzel. I'm not gonna do it. That's what the man wants me to do. I like this though. This is a fun puzzle. I mean, it's not even really a puzzle, but it's like, it's fun. That's a cool idea. And this, of course, this is a whole uh, thing into people's theories on the origins of lifeblood. a hole. Lifeblood Core! I wonder what was on the other side. Probably money. When resting the Baron gaining Coda of Lifeblood that protects from a large amount of damage. Meaning we can do like a triple Lifeblood combo if you wanted. Eat a bagel? I don't have one. I only have chocolate covered pretzels. But that's exactly the amount of charm slots we have if we want to go full lifeblood. And that's quite a lot of health. We don't want this, but we can. Alright, back to the um, Colosseum of Fools. I believe. Also HP, but nothing else. But the, you can combo it with Hive Blood and get quite a lot of health. Um, yeah, that's just the issue. You just can't heal Life Blood. Um, with Hive Blood, it doesn't matter so much. Now, that does bear into question where the last few charms are. 
because we do want to get all the charms in the game. Um, I don't think we get a charm for completing the Colosseum of Fools. Oh really? I was gonna say, does Glubberfly's elegy work with lifeblood? Uh, basically thinking you have no health? That's a shame that it doesn't. Um, but that's fine. That'd be too good anyway, you know? I'm not interested in that kind of OP shit. Can upgrade yet? Yep. We've got your graded shriek. The upgraded thing and we already had the upgraded dive so feeling a lot more confident because if we can just get a couple of those off every now and again i might even take the charm that gives us more um uh spell like you can cost cast spells for less actually i might oh rip um i might do that But we do love Jonies. Sixty-nine thousand. We just need one more Geo, and we will have the meme number. I'm thinking of trying around with. Uh, well, I wasn't thinking of using Soul Catcher. I was wanted to use. Spell Twister, but maybe Soul Catcher will be better. Kind of evens out. Yeah, upgrading charm doesn't. What we need is is there's actually two charms we don't have. Upgraded charms just change, but there's two charms we don't have that we need to get at some point. But I'm not really in a rush. Um, what I am in a rush for is to go be right back. So I'll be back in a moment. Ah, yeah, Barry, I know you can convert the fragile charms. Um, don't really want to do that, but we can, right? It's an option if we were so interested. All right, I'm going to need all your energy, chat. This is not a good start. Hey! I was healing. Don't be rude. He's 
gone high. He's gone very high. I like that the audience laughs at that bit. Oh, you see that move? They bluffed. Please, my knight, he's very sick. Yeah, exactly. They're basically not things I want to rely on. Um, but they're... You know. You never know. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's this one. I forgot about this one. Just dodge. I thought that was fucking Midori because of all the heart bits. And I was like, brother? <laughs> Wait a minute. Brother! Me and Neil really need to star in a D&D game where we're playing brothers so that we can just go, brother! Brother! Rest not, brother. Please, could you could you not do that? I would appreciate you not doing that. It's it's one of those things where sometimes you need to buff an unrelated thing to just feel better. You just need a win sometimes. Just oh. I forgot you could bounce off the spikes. That is a game changer. I'm not a scary you. I'm not a scared of nothing. Ah! I don't really know what my strategy was there, but it did not succeed. He nearly did it. Yikes. He's done it!
<laughs> Eat ass, scream loud. It doesn't rhyme, it doesn't need to rhyme. It's motivational. Oh, he dodged it. It's hard when he gets you stuck down somewhere. Very hard to do anything about that. Okay. He's gone. Deceased. Ceased to be. I remembered what round was next. Absolutely. That's me, Mr. Remembery. I didn't forget anything. Cars. Suck. Okay, die. Like, actually die, stop dealing damage to me and die, deceased. You have ceased to be! It, they spawn just slightly faster than it looks. This is where the fun begins. <gasps> Don't panic. No reason to panic. Just no ground. You know when they say you've got no ground to stand on? This is the this is what they mean. It might seem specific that they mean the one part of the Trial of Fools, level 3, in Hollow Knight. Um, but you know, I don't make the rules. <sighs> Please don't. Please. I'm sad about it. I'm sad about it. Let's stand awkwardly close to this man. Get our power back. Again!
not okay. Chestnuts. not related injuries. Sure did aggro fast. Was not expecting that to work that way. <sighs> Looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for love in your- I was gonna say looking for love in your sock drawer, which to some people may imply masturbation. I would never imply such a thing. That was the easiest Mantis round we've had so far. Okay, next is Soul Boots. Sorcerers.
Please be deceased. Can't teleport away from me. Oh no, he teleported away from me. Shouldn't have tried to do that. Got punished for it. Hopefully he dies soon. Ah, uh, you can hit them back at him. That's funny. guys did before everyone got infected and easy to capture and easy to fight. Right? Just a bunch of capturing. Okay. We're not going to, to, to heal, so just use spells whenever applicable. Please don't. I said please! I guess that's not enough. I'm trying to think if there's a charm that would help there. Maybe shade cloak, like the dash cloak thing. Maybe dash master so you could dash more often. Not hang in the air. Dream shield costs one too many to use. That is a shame. Oh, 
would have liked it. I would have liked it. My heart kind of wants to say, hey, what about going womb? But I know that's a stupid idea. But at the same... Oh, it's Star Wars Shell. What am I on about? Star Wars Shell. Gives us more invulnerability frames. More time to catch ourselves in the air. No, I'm not over charming during the Trial of Fools. Makes you take double damage, but you can have another charm on. Basically, you can have it if you. Uh, yeah. Harry saved your life, boy. Excuse me! Excused! Um... Okay. Chestnut round. They're coming to me. They're eager. Eager chestnuts. And I know a thing or two about eager nuts. Ooh, girl, I know you got them eager nuts. I know you want me. I know you need me. Cause I can beat the colors to you before. MLG, bro. My victory in, in combat is an attractive feature. Way nearly. Well, the charm I took gives us more invincibility frames. Like, nearly double. Like, it's a ridiculous amount if you look at it. I think is gonna really help during these flying segments where we have to kind of, like, catch ourselves. Excuse me, you're not allowed to stay off the screen the whole fight.
I have no fear. I have one fear. If I can position that right, it can insta kill him. Didn't do it. I don't know how that guy didn't die. I hit him like three times with an attack that sometimes kills him in one go. So I don't really know what happened there. Right. I'm gonna take a little bit of bank. Be back in one momento. Steady shield is the coward's way out. We are not a coward. We are many things, but a coward we are not. <laughs> and I need you! What do we want? Let's have some children. Sure. Let's just mix it up. Just mix it up. You know? I like to mix it up every now and again. Mix it up. Just do a little mix it up. Well, that's a sentence. These ones don't. These have nothing to do with soul, which is why I chose these ones. They here just got locked outside though. I just gotta not get distracted by them.
Look at them go, they're trying their best. I remember when I said I need to not get distracted by them, guess what I, I'm doing? I'm distracted. Didn't even see them there. Ah, they just kind of chill out on the spikes and don't want to join me up in where the, the, the real fun is. Not ideal. Okay. You did two more damage to me than you have any right to do during this fucking encounter. Oh, just nuts. round. I hate these things. I hate. I do. It's like how babies can breathe underwater for a few moments after they're born. Uh, baby spiders are immune to spikes. They're just born right into the spikes and they're like, oh yeah, whatever. I don't care. Excuse the fuck out of- EXCUSE ME! I'm done being cute about it! I totally parried that. Don't accept the arena propaganda. Ollie parried. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. Mentally, physically, in all planes except physical, I am fucking done. No, but I believed. There was never any chance. That was a dumb idea for idiots. Um, I'm gonna try something.
Try something completely different. Spiders were more a distraction than an assistance. Which, as I said, might happen. Glowing Womb would actually be more useful, but I don't really want to have the soul be sucked away. We love the Dream Shield. And Dream Shield loves us. I have an extremely cursed thing going on right now where the cable for the Xbox controller is between my legs and I don't like it. I just have to change it. Extremely cursed. Bring me a worthy challenge! A challenge worthy of the Dream Shield. Now we won't have double heal anymore. <laughs> he just got sent. But we will be able to scoot around. Potentially meaning we can heal when we wouldn't have been able to heal before. If you like the donk noise. Of course you do, your people of taste. This is it, I can feel it. But I'm not cocky about it. I'm just confident. Oh, see how it takes care of chestnuts? It does about the same damage as a nail hit. Most enemies are like three or four hits. gonna be a lifesaver when we can't hit the ground. We can kind of rely on this a little bit more. really know what was happening there. I mean, I did it, but I don't know why I was doing it. Ollie, you're just breaking your brain right now for no reason. Just plain weird. Breathe, breathe through your anus. Don't get stuck inside the Grubman.
And it could just negate the freaking mantis things. That caused me so much grief. The time for grieving is over. The time for victory is now. Excuse me. The time for victory is now. I don't know if you got the memo, but I win now. I win. 100 years. 100 years! Hornet! 100 years! Also good against the enemies that are just slightly too high to hit. Why do I ever not have the Dream Shield equipped? I mean, because it, it basically effectively takes four slots, which is... Too hot to trot, but still. But it is worth it. I mean, you can't deny how good it's been. Oh. Nearly. That was just one dream donkus banger. You can't bounce very easily off the wall on the top. Right, that is a lesson learned. I have no fucking soul though. The one. I think quick heal is going to help way more than double heal. Double heal, so we've had double heal and quick heal on whenever we've had double heal on, because double heal on its own heals very slowly. We will not have time, even with Un, to uh, get away, I believe. We could try that next time, but that again, that, that basically gives us less spell slots as well. Or charm slots, whatever. Does makes bouncing slightly harder when the frickin' um, dream shield gets an idea. I think being able to heal quickly is valuable. <laughs> what was that? Yikes.
Please don't. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Yikes! want results bring me pictures of spider-man My body is tilted though, I'm not sitting like fully upright. I'm sitting like a lounging Nordic Lord. You know the one. We're smart people. Some of you. There's at least one smart person amongst you. I like all of my children equally. But I don't care for slashes. No! <laughs> One slight issue with the Dream Shield build is that we actually don't get much chance to heal. We don't generate as much soul. Interestingly enough. Like, just slightly less. Just enough to notice. Son? 
been watching your career with great interest. I'm not mad. I'm just sad. Neither. There's the only around sad. I think I can get away with one of these bangers. I just need all the emote slots, one for every emotion. Get on it, chat. Excuses. I don't want to hear excuses. There's meant to be 75 people in this stream. So the Dream Shield isn't going to do as much damage now, which is going to be a shame. Song gives us help when uh, soul when we take damage. So when we're struggling at, at, at some points in the game, uh, where we just didn't have enough soul, it should give us enough to do something with it. entertainment. Excuse me. The most important thing in the world. A child's laughter. The most important thing in the world. Fuck that. Fuck off. I get really annoyed when TV shows are, uh, do something like that. It's like, oh, the true meaning was, was happiness. Like, yeah, like, fine, but fuck off. Like, sure, but get out of here. There's a lot of that in Star Wars. Oh uh, yeah, but the true thing is that we did it together. No, there's literally a... None of that matters. The Force. The Force. Balance, light, dark. He does not want to come down. Well, I certainly ain't gonna go up there chasing him.
Uh, particularly the Clone Wars series, and I think the other TV shows do a lot of... They, they got a lot of, like... Messages... To tell. Sometimes Yoda will be like, But the true victory was companionship. And I'm like, fuck off, Yoda. Fuck off. You're not even doing it ironically, as old school Yoda would have done. It's a sign of me getting older that I find Trollmaster Yoda, uh, like in episode 5 and 8, way more enjoyable than, like, Grandmaster Yoda. That's just a sign of the times, really. I used to find, like, Yoda so cool. Now I like him just being a fucking troll. Excuse me, I was a grub. Don't do- don't do- I'm a grub! And like, the Clone Wars TV series is good, but there's just some moments where they just make it painfully obvious it's for children. Which is fine, but also, I don't need to hear about how, oh, you know, your eagle, ego will be your downfall. I don't need a message. The only message I want is slay puss. That's the message I want in my Star Wars media. If you haven't watched the new movies, I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, I, I just really enjoy what they're doing with Star Wars, like the tone they've given that the world in the new stuff. Even movies that other people hate, I just, I enjoy, you know? But I'm famous for enjoying things that are bad. Like D&D 4E. And eating ass. Please. My knight, he is very sick. Sure will prove my mastery. Rogue One is my favorite Star Wars. I really like the kind of D-Day-esque uh, energy about it. I like that it shows the Alliance not as overwhelmingly good guys, because that's more realistic, and I like it. Um, I like Krennic, you know? It shows the Alliance being bad guys and the Empire being competent. Both things that you never see in the other movies. And it basically just elicits to what a re more realistic Star Wars world would be like. And funny enough, I actually think that of, of Solo as well. Just kind of the, the, the world of Solo feels very alive. Even though I don't believe that the guy they have to play Han Solo plays a convincing Han Solo. Other than that, I like the movie, right? If you kind of almost... Forget that bit. It's a great movie. In my opinion. But that's just what I like. I like that kind of 
dumb, not really taking itself seriously action sometimes. I also like Star Wars Episode 8, where, you know, obviously that's controversial. Um, I don't really see any problems with it. I mean, I, of course there are problems with it, right? It's not the best written movie in the world, but it's a cool Star Wars movie that has cool moments. And that's like all I want out of my Star Wars. I think I, I was saying this to um, the Monday D&D group, but we're watching all of the Star Wars recently... It's weird how seriously some people take Star Wars, because the movies have always been kind of trash. Like, they're good and enjoyable, but they're not the most sincere works of art in the world! But there's some people who I think maybe just haven't rewatched the old Star Wars movies and are like, The new ones are terrible! They have nothing to do with the old ones! It's like, no, the old ones are pretty much the same shit. Don't worry about it. Man, I killed myself doing that. Yes! We have a stream tomorrow? I won't. Yeah, well, I mean, no, none of these movies are perfect. But that doesn't mean I can't enjoy it. Slashes, that's just actually rude to do, though. So don't do that. <laughs> genuineness. Um, I kind of find the new ones actually more genuine than the old ones. And hear me out. The new Star Wars movies are made by people who loved Star Wars. And have lived Star Wars. And are made out of passion. Even though they're made by Disney, they're made by people who love Star Wars. Which means they get the actual atmosphere of the stuff right. They put little nods into the other movies. Even like the you know, technology and stuff connects. Planets connect, you know. The prequels, for example, didn't really do that at all. The prequels basically tried to make their own completely prequels is basically a completely disconnected thing until actually some of the more recent movies kind of connect them back up now of course you uh, this is one of those ones, you're totally welcome to disagree <laughs> i am not by all means right but that's my opinion and that's why i actually kind of enjoy the new movies a little more than especially the prequels Although, Star Wars Episode 3 is just fun. It's just a good movie. 1 and 2 are problematic, but you can still sit and have fun with them. 1, particularly, is a hard fucking watch. I really wish I had uh, unedited versions of the first trilogy. Because I feel like that would be a more enjoyable movie. I feel like a lot of the edits, while not necessarily intrusive all the time, just do make it worse. And actually one of my friends keeps telling me that they have an, 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 an I forgot what round it was. An, a cop version of the unedited movie and I keep forgetting to pick it up from them. Exactly. One is the worst, two is better, three is fine. But I still think the sequels have a better atmosphere. The prequels, the sequels are more genuine than the prequels. Right? That's my belief.
But my belief in Star Wars is like with many settings, the actual movies aren't very aren't the best way to experience Star Wars. The setting is more interesting when it's not focused on the freaking characters in the movies. Which is another reason why I like Rogue One and Solo, because they're smaller things not dealing with the end of the world. More in, in a direct way, I guess, at least. When everything in your world is world-ending consequence, that's boring. I'm gonna lose. And, and that's totally fair, you know, lightning, not not liking them because of... But I, I like modern Hollywood movies, and a lot of people do. Um, I, I just... I, I, I don't understand how a lot of people can be very... Like, I, this is a bit of a strange sentence, because I, I do understand why people can be cynical of movies, but I don't understand how people can't just sometimes just enjoy something, right? Like, all the people who, who are up in arms about Star Wars 8, when really, like, there's a lot of just fun. You don't have to like everything, but isn't just watching a movie fun sometimes? Even bad movies I usually have fun with. It's boring movies I don't like. I don't think any of them are boring. Like, for frickin'... What was that movie? The Equalizer? I watched this movie on Netflix and I actually stopped it. And when I stopped watching a movie, uh, just out of boredom, that's not a good sign. Uh, and it was meant to be like a John Wick kind of thing. But the guy, the Equalizer, was always, literally always one step ahead of their opponent. So there was never any stakes, because they, at one point they show like the bad guys going into his house and looking for him. And then it like cuts away to him in a separate house having already set up cameras and stuff to spy on them and stuff. And like they never set that up and it's just like, oh okay, he's just gonna keep winning because every time you just cut and show that he's one step ahead. Okay, I have no interest in this now. Nearly. I nearly got away with that. Don't get me wrong, I'm not like a big... I never said to, this whole conversation made me seem like a big Star Wars nerd, but it's really just like... In general. I just like being able to enjoy media. It's like when people are really anti the MCU, or particular movies in the MCU, and I'm like, they're just, they're all fun. You're gonna have fun. Honestly, less hype for Star Wars would be a good thing, just in the world. I think the movies would be better if there was less hype about them. And sometimes that that proves pretty well. Take for example the first Guardian of the Galaxy movies. No one cared about the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie until it came out. Which meant it got to be really fucking weird. Same with Thor Ragnarok. Everyone thought it was just gonna be another dumb Thor movie because they all have meme. But no, gotta do weird shit. They need to do some weird shit with Star Wars. Yeah, if you don't own them all, you're gonna have a hard time watching them all in order. You don't have to be a Marvel fan to find these movies fun. That's the thing. Uh, 
I don't have to like cars to like the movie Cars. <laughs> But you know what I mean, right? If a if a if a movie tries to win you over just based off the fandom of the previous movies, you're gonna have a hard time. Take for example the freaking Terminator franchise, which is con the pot, because people that every Terminator movie that comes out is just look, it's a connection to the other Terminator movies. Please. That is not what Star Wars 7 did, Plex. Funnily enough, if you actually, like, watch it, it's not, uh... This exists purely because of the other movies. If, if it wasn't a little self-aware about it, then, then sure. Um, if it didn't make sense in-universe, then sure. But really what it was was, as from the filmmaker's perspective, a, a homage. In universe, they even pretty much self-explain it as the First Order trying to do what the Empire did. Like, exactly. I, I think that's just... I think there's, there's a nugget of truth to that, Plex. But I think in practicality, that's just not true. There's, there's like a nugget in truth inside a lot of just watch the movie without being prejudiced, <laughs> right? And that's, I, I think that that often happens a lot. Yeah. But here's the thing, right? You could probably watch those other Terminator movies and still have fun, but they're not very good. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of my point, right? None of these movies are boring. And doing a homage to a movie, even a previous movie, is not a, a bad thing. Yes, Plex. That's called a homage. It was a very smart way to reboot the franchise after it being dead for such a long time. I don't understand how this is bad stuff, really, is, is a more the point. I think it was a very smart decision, I think it made it very interesting because they did very drastically different things with the same starting points, which is interesting, that's what you should do. And that's actually a good example of me saying boring movies. Matrix 2 is a boring movie. At least when I watched it, I found it boring. Same with Aliens and Predator movies. I find them a little boring. But then I haven't watched them for a long time. And probably watching them again now would just find enjoyment, right? I don't know. You're, you're entitled to your opinion, Plex, but I would encourage you to re-watch the movie and you'll find that, like, that is not a bad thing. Right? I don't even understand anymore, Plex, I'll be honest. I don't even understand. Which is not getting better. Not really doing worse either. What's this? Oh, is Miss Tear? <sighs> I 
Exactly. Star Wars, like the old Star Wars are engaging and fun movies, but they're not flawless. And I think going into any movie to, to expecting something flawless is just stupid because there's no such thing as flawless. Everything's going to have flaws, especially when opinions are subjective, right? You know, what I... Well, I'm very good at do going, okay, that might be bad, but it doesn't ruin this thing, right? And I don't even think that goes into ironically liking something, like so how some people ironically like the prequels of Star Wars. I'm trying to think of a good example that's not Star Wars. For example, like Ant-Man and the Wasp, so many people dislike that and I don't even really know why. There's one major flaw at the end of the movie, which does not ruin the movie. Because it's at the end. I mean, that one, I understand it, but it doesn't ruin the movie to my mind. I don't know. I'm trying to watch more movies. And then there's movies that everyone says are great and actually aren't, but then you got to remember that there's been a lot of time between them. And I think that's uh, especially true with like those old Star Wars where people feel like swear by them. It's like really... Sure, they were amazing at their time, but... And that, that is true, Barry, but like, the ending of Ant-Man and the Wasp doesn't really, like, the, the part of the ending that people think is bad, which I don't really want to super spoil. Um, I don't know, doesn't ruin it to me. It does annoy me because it ruins some potential, but I don't think it ruins the, the, the world, right? But I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of willing to give a movie a bit more slack when it is part of a bigger world. And the same with D and D, right? I'm willing to put a bit of slack in my own D and D like sessions where it's like, oh, okay, that wasn't so much a big of a good session. But you know, maybe it sets up things in the world. Maybe answer questions in the world. Maybe it just belongs in the world, right? See, I didn't play Mass Effect three. But in that, but that's 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 an ending to a franchise. Not only that, that's a full ending. the The part of the ending of Ant Man and the Wasp that ruins it is not the ending for. It's the ending for one side character. It's not like the ending of the movie to the main characters. I'm trying to think of a movie where it's like, yeah, one of the main characters just doesn't get like their arc completed, and that would suck. But for side characters, you know, it doesn't matter so much, I suppose. Or well, they do get it completely in a, in a not very satisfying way. And I'm trying to think. But I'm not very good at... I haven't watched a lot of movies is the thing. I'm trying to be better about it. But I just like watching trash TV while I work. And streaming. But that's the same with games as well. Sometimes if a game is willing to open up into a uh, very interesting world, I'm willing to forgive parts I don't like. Weirdly enough, there were the uh, the one that kind of didn't 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 draw, draw me in was Dragon Age. Yeah. Yeah, I mean people like different things. I'm trying to think of a game I didn't like the ending of. So I never played Mass Effect 3, so I can't really talk on that. I suppose we can watch a fight from the sidelines for a bit. I don't really want to try again right now. We'll be playing more uh, next time we play. We'll try again. I'm kind of, I'm kind of mentally done, as you can tell. No, you limits, chat, kids at home.
I, I know, Barry, I, right? I'm thinking it, but I just can't think of a good example. Oh well. Pretty much everything we would want to do right now would be pretty hard. So I don't really want to, like, veer off and do something like that. So I think we're probably going to call it here. As you could tell, I've kind of drifted off. Um, We have 15 rounds of eggs, that's good to know. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna call it here. Uh, I don't really wanna keep doing the Trial of Fools and I've kinda of drifted off, so it means I can have a little bit of me time before D&D &D tonight, which is nice. Um, probably play this again sometime next week. I'm not sure when, though. And um, remember to, you know, enjoy yourselves. Stay hydrated. Do a hobby. Laugh in the sun. Enjoy the feeling of a nice, cool, refreshing. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. See you later.